Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and I am a children's program instructor at the Courtney Recreation Center. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint using a straw. So here are some examples of what we're going to learn to do today. So this one is a butterfly, we've got a peacock, and a jellyfish. So for this activity, you just need a desk space or a table space you can work on, some newspaper to put underneath you, a piece of either just white computer paper or construction paper would work, and then we're gonna need some water so that we can make our paints nice and runny. Um, some paints, I'm just gonna be using these acrylic paints, but any type of liquid paint or watercolor paints will work for this activity. You need something you can put your paints into, so I'm just using these mini mugs and we're going to need a straw to do our painting with, as well as a paintbrush to transfer our paints from our mugs into our paper. So you can just pause the video, get all of your supplies ready, and then come right back when you're ready. Okay. So today the picture I'm going to show you how to paint is the peacock, which looks like this. So I've used a marker to draw the paint peacock, I've added some googly eyes, and then I've added some sparkles throughout. So those are extra things you can do just to be creative with it and make it your own, but you can do this however you'd like to. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to add a little bit of our paints into each of our dishes. So just a small squirt, you can see I've just added a dime size amount in there. I'm going to add that to each of our dishes. Right. So what we're going to do once we have all our paints added in is we're going to add some water into them because we want them to be nice and runny so that when we use our straw to paint, it will work pretty easily because if the paints are too thick, then they won't um, move around the paper really easily. So once we've got our paints in, I'm going to add, I'm going to use my measuring cup just so it's easy to pour. And I'm just going to add and maybe fill them up about halfway, these little mugs. So once you've got your water in each of your color, and you can use as many or as few colors as you want to. So once you've got that in, you're just going to have to mix it up. I'm just going to use the straw to mix mine up. And now you can kind of see, I don't want to spill it. Oh, I spilt it. <laughs> it's kind of watery. Well, it's very watery. So we're going to mix all of our paint colors. So if you have watercolor paints at home, that would be a lot easier. But I think that most of us probably just have acrylic paints at home. So that's why I'm going to show you how to do it with those. So once we've got all of those mixed up, we are ready to go. All right. So with my paints, I'm going to get them nice and close to my paper so that I can't trip on my desk. And I'm going to use this paintbrush here and I'm just going to dip it into one of my colors. I'm going to start with my pink. So I'm going to dip it into my pink and make sure it's nice and wet. And then I'm going to transfer it over to my paper, dip it onto my paper. So there'll be a nice little water puddle of pink. And then we're going to take our straw. And so you're just going to put your lips on the end of the straw and blow through it. and the paint will begin to move around the paper. So you can see here that I've got my colors and I've started putting some pink onto the paper. So I just drop it on and then I blow through the straw to move the water. I'm gonna add some more colors just so you can see what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna add my blue and blow up. So what's kind of fun about this is you can't really control where the water is going. So every time you do it, it's going to look different. So right now, as you can see, my colors are pretty light on the paper. So if you want your colors to be darker, you can just add more paint to your water. So 
So because we're making the peacock, I'm trying to make it so that the feathers are nice and tall and long and colorful. All right, I'm gonna add one more color. So I'm gonna add some more colors down here now just to build on the layers, but I'm gonna let this part dry first. All right, so for this next layer of paint, I added a little bit more paint into my waters just so that this would be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and transfer it to the paper. Grab my straw and I'm just gonna blow through the straw gently. I'm gonna add a few more colors and then we'll meet you back when we're all done. So now I have added all of my colors and I've let it sit to dry for about 20 minutes. So the next thing I'm gonna do is draw the peacock, which will end up looking like this. So you can do any color you want. You can use felt pen or you can use paints if you want to. I'm going to use just a um, blue Crayola washable marker. Draw it right here. So it looks like my paper's a little bit too. All right, now that my peacock's body is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add some googly eyes. You could just draw on your eyes or use anything you have at home to decorate it. Awesome, so good work everyone. Here is my finished product of the peacock. So like I said earlier, there's so much more you can do with this. Here's the first peacock I did, jellyfish butterfly and I'm sure all of you guys have so many more creative ideas now that you know how to paint with a straw. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Bye!